All right, guys. Uh, today we're going to do uh, the modern day 200 backhand. Uh, we did a video on more consistent backhands and different types of take backs. Uh, but now we're going to talk about how to generate a lot of power without taking such a huge swing. And it's very similar to the forehand one we did. So first thing is we're going to have the grip. Now, if you have a continental grip or you have an Eastern forehand grip, it's fine. Okay, whatever you want to use is fine. When the, when the ball comes, we're going to turn and we're going to take his racket away from his body. And we're going to feel a little stretch in his right shoulder. Uh, we don't want to get his hands in like this because then when we go to hit the ball, the racket gets to the dark side and then we're late. And you start playing people that are really hitting the ball hard and the game's so fast these days, you don't really have time to be catching the ball or taking the racket behind you and getting stuck late. So we're going to turn and we're going to get his racket out this way. Okay, left that elbow maybe a little bit above the right. And we have, we have a real good player uh, and he has his elbow up like this, which is it's kind of weird, but he makes it work really well. But anyway, so racket goes back, racket's up like this, above his hands, uh, and ready to go. Now, when we go into contact, what we're going to do, uh, there's a great video uh, by Rick Macy, and he talks about the flip. He calls it the flip. Uh, and what he means is, when we're going to hit the ball, there's going to be a little flip back here, which is going to generate a lot of power. It's like a little whoosh when we hit the ball. That way, we don't have to take it all the way back and generate power from coming so far back. We can generate it for just from flicking. And how we do that, just like the forehand, we're going to pull the right hand towards the ball at, at, just as we start. So when we go ready to hit the ball, we're going to pull. And then when we get close to that ball, then the left hand's going to take over and it's going to turn into a lefty forehand. And what that's going to do is it's just going to give me a little flip when I hit the ball. So just like the forearm video, Harry, how are you feeling, Harry? He's, he's feeling good. So uh, he's going to feed me five backhands and I'm going to do it kind of the old way without any hands. And then we're going to feed five when I'm going to use by, I'm going to pull my right hand towards the ball and we're going to flip a little bit. So uh, check it out. All right, guys, I'm going to try and take these cross court. Uh, no wrists on these first five. And then the second one, we're going to pull the racket towards the ball and we're going to flip a little bit at the ball. I'm not using any wrist here. One more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this one now, we're going to pull the racket towards the ball and we're going to see if we can generate a little bit more power in a, in a small uh, amount of time. I'll hit him. So that's that's a lot bigger. Uh, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, uh, but just that little move there before I hit the ball uh, really helps me get some racket head speed. Again, this is an advanced move. Uh, it's not for someone that's just started playing tennis. I mean, telling someone to flip, I spent many, many years telling them kind of giving the opposite advice here so please don't go out there if you're not if you're not really an advanced player and a good intermediate and start flipping the wrists but once you get the basics down have been hit a backhand play around with that all the best players on tour keep the racket on this side of the ball and they generate power by leaning that butt towards the ball and then releasing the hands uh some cool ideas that a lot of good videos online probably not as good as this video but a lot of good videos online and that kind of stuff. So if you disagree, uh, write it in the comments. Uh, this has been A Touch of Tennis. My name's Adam. I really enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.